This episode of the Autism Dead podcast is brought to you by Able Now, tax advantage savings accounts for eligible individuals with disabilities. For too long, Americans with disabilities could not save or invest in their future. Advocates fought hard to change this, resulting in a grassroots movement that changed the law so people with disabilities can achieve a better life experience. Able Now accounts help eligible individuals save for the future without endangering certain disability benefits like Medicaid that are critical for health and independence. There's no enrollment fee, no minimum amount required to start your savings, and anyone can contribute to the account. Able Now accounts are specifically designed for people with disabilities and available to qualified individuals in all 50 states. Funds in your Able Now account can pay for a variety of qualified disability expenses related to health, independence, and quality of life. Able eligible individuals can open and manage their own account independently if they're over the age of 18. If they are under 18 or need assistance, a parent or other trusted guardian may open and manage the account as an authorized representative. Make 2024 the year that you get your finances in order. Learn if you or someone you know is eligible to open an Able Now account at ablenow.com. That's A B L E N O W.com. This episode is brought to you by Goalie. Did you know the University of Michigan did a study that found over 80% of apps for kids are designed to lure them into longer gameplay and more in-app purchases? Goalie decided it was time for this to end. Unlike the Kindle and iPad that have endless ads and potentially dangerous content, Goalie is a tablet with only apps that build independent kids. It has no web browser, no social media, and no ads, ever. It has award-winning learning apps like Khan Academy, Duolingo ABC, and Starfall, and the best part? It's completely parent-controlled. In my house, we use Goalie's kids calendar to teach my son how to stay on task. He learns life skills like how to make a sandwich by watching one of the hundreds of video classes and can practice it by following along with one of the 50 pre-made routines. As a dad, there's no better feeling than knowing that my son is becoming more independent every day. For more information and to try Goalie risk-free for 30 days, visit getgoalie.com. That's G-E-T-G-O-A-L-L-Y.com and use the code THEAUTISMDAD to save 10%. Welcome to the Autism Dad Podcast. I'm Rob Gorski. For the past seven seasons, this podcast has provided parents with education, community, resources, and validation. This season, you'll hear from parents just like you, as well as my own kids, who will offer their unique perspectives on what it's like for them to navigate the world as young autistic people. You can subscribe on any one of your favorite podcast listening apps. And for more information to be a guest or a sponsor, please visit theautismdad.link. Welcome back to another episode of the Autism Dead Podcast. I'm Rob Gorski, and I'm glad you're here because we got a really good show for you guys today. Today is all about resources, and uh, we're going to focus on one in particular today uh, because they have hundreds and hundreds of free resources. And as summer break is approaching, and we all worry about that kind of summer slide, right, where our kids sort of regress over the summer, this is, is right up your alley. So, my guest is Danny Kinsley. She is an occupational therapist as well as a product developer and editor over at Super Duper Publications. And they have just all kinds of educational tools, you know, paper, analog stuff, and some digital stuff, and then hundreds and hundreds of free resources uh, that you can just download and use. I met them at a conference a couple of years ago, and they are phenomenal. They, they do some amazing things. And uh, I wanted to bring them on a show and, and talk about this because I love providing you guys with information and resources, especially when there's free resources involved, right? Can't beat free resources. So thank you very much for taking the time to tune in. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you enjoy the interview. Thank you for taking the time to be here. I really appreciate it. Could you take a second and kind of introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background? And then let's talk about what uh, Super Duper Publications is and, and what they offer. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. My name is Danny Kinsley. I'm an occupational therapist, and here at Super Duper, I'm also an editor and a product developer. So, um, you know, with my background in OT, I've joined a team of speech language pathologists who are also product developers here, and we make the products that Super Duper has been producing for almost oh goodness, almost forty years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so when you say producing products, like what types of products are, are you talking about? Cause I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about this because there's like this push for like analog type things now as, as we're moving forward. And, and this stuff is so cool. So can you tell us a little bit about like what you guys uh, create? 
Yeah. So we have a ton of different products. We make card decks, books, games, um, interactive software. We've got a little bit of everything. And a lot of our products are based in the speech language pathology world because our founder, um, Sharon Weber, is a speech language pathologist. But we also have products to work on a variety of different skills. So like I mentioned, card decks are probably one of our um, most popular products. We we have card decks to address everything from problem solving to like social pragmatics, kind of figuring out social skills um, to working on specific speech strategies like articulation and even a whole line of occupational therapy products now too. So we've got um, yoga card decks and body awareness card decks. And um, most recently I created a line for teaching activities of daily living. Um, we've got books, games, a lot of really fun ways to work on um, a variety of skills. I, I met you guys at a conference in South Carolina like two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago. And yeah. you guys have so much cool stuff. Uh, do you, is, is this, um, is this more for like educators or is this stuff like parents can go to your website and check out and find things that maybe help their kids to sort of kind of maintain during summer break, or maybe they want to just work on certain skills. Like this is something parents could buy and, and be able to implement like at home. Yeah, absolutely. So traditionally, we have marketed a lot of our products to clinicians, so speech language pathologists, occupational therapists, physical therapists, educators as well. But our products, the way that we design them is that we make them super easy for parents to just grab and go as well. So the great thing about the way that the products are designed is that they're colorful, they're fun for kids, and they're very user friendly. And so, you know, while your clinicians might be working on specific skills, you can always ask them like, hey, what should we work on during the summer? Or what should we work on outside of therapy? And they can give you recommendations. But whenever we design our products, we always try to make them extremely user-friendly, not only for the clinicians who might be using them, but also for the parents and families who um, might be picking them up as well. And that's a big part of what we do. And because we are located in South Carolina, our entire team is based here in South Carolina. If you ever have any questions about the products, you can always just call and speak to any of our customer service reps who are right here in the building with us. Mm -hmm. And if they don't know the answer to the question, they can always send you over to our editor and product development team. And we're all clinicians and we love talking to parents about like making recommendations for products and um, for activity ideas and things like that as well. Oh, wow. So, yeah. so some of this stuff can be shaped by parents. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, it's very really parent cool. friendly. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, what are some, so like, what are some of the most common things or the most popular things that parents, uh, because most of the people, well, there's a lot of clinicians that listen. There's, there's professionals, teachers and stuff like that. There's also a lot of parents. It's mostly parents. What yeah. are some of the common things that parents could find, uh, like on your website that they can utilize at, at home? And, and the other question I guess would be like, are, are there like age brackets or like age groups that you guys focus on or, or is it just sort of, you know, what works for their kid, they can kind of match it up. If that makes sense. Yeah. So those are great questions. Um, we actually have products for a variety of different age groups and we're always developing new products too. Every time we go to shows, you know, people are um, like conferences and things like that. People are always asking us, what do you have that's new? What do you have that's for older kids? Most of our um, products do target a population that's a little bit younger or those skills that are um, a little bit more appropriate to younger kids. But however, we are um, developing a lot of new stuff as well. And so what we have for parents that would be great, we have a ton of games like I mentioned, we've got a bunch of card decks. Um, if you want to work on a specific skill, like let's say your child is in speech therapy, working on articulation skills or working on problem solving or even answering questions, and you want to kind of promote that back and forth ability to have a conversation, you can pick up any of our fun decks. And the way that they've designed is that you can utilize them. They're very open-ended. You can utilize them by just literally reading through the cards, or you can play them in conjunction with the game. So like every time they that you take a turn or your child takes a turn, you could stop, grab a card and read through the prompt. And it's just a really fun way 
um, to kind of work on those skills. Now, I'm a parent myself, so I know sometimes uh, my kids might interact with the clinicians or their educators or other adults a little bit differently than they interact with me. Sometimes I get a little bit more pushback, like, oh, mom, you know, do we have to work on this? But yep. I'm sure you understand oh, yeah. how that goes. Um, but it's good because it just gives you sort of a structured way um, to address some of these skills that they're working on in therapy. And at the end of the day, you know what I used to always tell parents when I was working in the clinic is that I only see your kid for 30 minutes or an hour once a week, right? So as much as you can do at home to continue building on these skills in a really fun way, you know, it'll just continue to help your kid reach their goals even faster. And like I said, we've, we have... I mean, products for a little bit of everything. Um, and like we have a whole line of games called Chipper Chat. They're super fun and kids love to play them. But we have everything from like articulation, phonological awareness, problem solving, asking WH questions like who, what, where, when, why. Um, and, you know, just a ton of different products to work on a variety of different skills. So whatever somebody needs, we probably have something to address it. That's, that's very, very cool. I, so like, I'm like, I'm a big tech guy, right? Like I, I love screens and that kind of stuff, but I also understand that the, the analog side of this stuff is really important, right? Because sort of unplugging and and being able to kind of interact and yeah, I love the idea of like the card games and, and things like that, because like we play stuff like that all the time, you know, like what, what is it like kids against humanity or whatever those kinds of games are, right? Where, where you can yeah, so fun. Ha- just have fun and, and, and have family time and you can learn something. And what I like about this is, is that you can, in, you can incorporate it into sort of like your everyday stuff. So it's not like you're having to like block off time during a day where they need to like learn something. There's air quotes here. I know you can't see me, but I've got air yeah. quotes about learning. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they can learn without realizing that they're learning. Right. And you can well, disguise we know- it. Yeah, I mean, we know that play-based learning is the most powerful form of learning, right? And we don't ever want our products to feel like they are just rote repetition, you know, over and over and over again. And that's why we do make them very open-ended. And we do understand that a lot of people are trying to kind of get away from screens, um, at certain times. And so we try to make our products, again, very easy to grab and go. However, we do also have a digital library and our digital library is a great way to access literally thousands of our resources all in a digital format. So if you do have a tablet or even a cell phone and you want to access some of our materials on the go, instead of having to actually carry the physical products, we also have them available on the digital library as well. And that's just one of our subscription based um, programs that we offer. All right. So, so do you find that parents like, you know, there's, there's like this movement in society where like, we feel like we just have to keep advancing with technology. And and I'm kind of harping on that just a little bit because like that's, where everything is right apps and all kinds of stuff yeah but do you find that parents are are sort of gravitating to this more analog approach because like i know there's even switches with cell phones right where people are going back to like flip phones and they're trying to more simplify their life and make it more um i I mean analog is the only way i can think to to describe it do you find that as sort of the direction that like it's still relevant i guess Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, during COVID, everything obviously shifted and everything went online in a really big way. And that's actually when we established our digital library offerings um, to sort of meet the needs of clinicians and parents during COVID. But I've noticed a huge shift, you know, sort of back away from the screens and kind of taking a lower tech approach. Um, And honestly, it's the cards, the books, the games, they're classic for a reason because they really do still work very well. Um, and depending on you know what your child needs and what your child gravitates toward, we do have a variety of different options. But I, as a parent personally, like any time that I can talk my kid into doing something off the screen, I usually try. Um, and again, there's always options to do it both ways. So I do find that it's it really does meet the need of a big, um, a big percentage of our, of our customers as well. All right. And, and everything is, 
is accessible, right? So like, uh, or inclusive, I guess I mean it. Like, so this yeah. is this is stuff that, you know, parents of neurodivergent kids who maybe need a little bit of extra work at home, you know, and, and I guess the speech and the OT and that kind of stuff tends to kind of lend to that demographic of people anyways, because like we lived in speech and OT for, oh my God, right. so long now. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it would be beneficial to kids in general, but also kids who are neurodivergent and, and maybe need to focus on certain areas that they might not find anywhere else, I guess. Yeah. And I mean, my personal um, area of interest and my specialty and what I've done a lot of education on in the past few years um, is neurodivergent learning styles. So everything that I've developed since I started Super Duper, which I started in 2021. Um, so I've been here for about three and a half years now. And everything that I've developed, I developed um, to be evidence-based based on what our neurodivergent learners, um, like what works for people who learn differently. And I personally identify as a neurodivergent learner. So that has really kind of helped my product development. Um, and it's just been really fun because as a clinician, you always have ideas for like, oh man, I really wish there was a product for, you know, meeting XYZ need or for working on this activity or for learning this skill. And so to come to this job after having been a clinician for several years, it's really neat because now I have a team of like highly skilled artists and photographers and other clinicians who can kind of help me bounce these ideas around. And so all of our products are made by clinicians. Um, but again, we try to make them super user friendly. And so everything that we make, we make with the, um, intention of making it not only you know, only user friendly for like the parent or the clinician but also fun for the kid because we know that you know you're not going to have any buy-in if it's not interesting and fun and colorful and so that's always kind of at the forefront of our um, thought process when we're creating the products also so what is the what is the easiest way for parents to find you guys so all of our products and all of our offerings are available at www.superduperinc.com. That's our main website. We also have our digital library, which I mentioned earlier, and you can access that through our uh, main website as well. And we also have Here Builder, which is an online software service. That is through our main website or um, herebuilder.com. And Here Builder is really great because it is a subscription-based service, but it's it would be a really great resource to use over the summer to kind of keep some of those skills really honed. Um, it's got programs for following directions, phonological awareness, which builds on like some of those beginning kind of literacy skills, auditory memory. It has a variety of different things that you can work on. And additionally, we have um, a fourth website, which is our handyhandouts.com. And that provides um, access to all of our free resources. So we have created hundreds of free resources about a variety of different topics. Again, I mentioned my specialty area of interest is autism. So I have created a lot of um, autism resources over the last few years as well. And those are available for free through our Handy Handouts website. All right. I, I will have all that information in show notes so that people can just like click on the links and find all the free stuff that they can utilize and then connect with you guys and, and uh, you know, explore everything that you offer. I, I think it's so cool what you guys are doing because I, I remember when I met you guys, it was like, I didn't know like people were still doing this for one thing. And and then yeah. just the more that I thought about it, like the more important it really is, you know, to be able to, to have that sort of that analog approach. I mean, it just, for some, especially for some kids, like they need that, they need that in order to learn and you're empowering parents to help their kids at home, which is awesome. I love empowering parents. Uh, yes. I, I really appreciate you um, taking the time to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rob. We really appreciate it. I have told you before, I'm a big fan of your podcast and your content, all your work. I've been following for a long time. So it was just really exciting to be able to get on and talk to you today. And um, like I said, if anybody ever has any questions, please feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They're super helpful based, like I said, right here in South Carolina. And if they don't know the answer to your question, they can always um, direct you right back to us. And maybe I might get a call from one of you guys at my desk. So I'm always looking forward to talking to parents. It's one of my favorite parts of the job. Well, there you go. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate it and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate it. You too. Bye-bye.
Before we go, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and for all the support you guys have shown me over the last seven seasons. I am so grateful and appreciative of each and every one of you. If you have found this useful or you just enjoyed listening, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment to leave a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatever app you're listening to this on or share it with your friends or whatever, uh, it's a great way to support the show. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You guys can reach me at the autismdad.link. That's the autismdad.link. And we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.